What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I wanted to share an application that I've been using quite recently made by Polar Pro. Now some of you may know Polar Pro from their drone filters and their drone accessories, but they actually jumped into the software game and made a pre-flight application to use before you fly your drone. It shows some vital weather information, uh, some stuff like the KP index, and also the golden hour. We'll be going over all of this once we jump into the application, and it also has a special trick up its sleeve with an ND filter calculator. So it's going to let you know exactly which ND filter to use to get the best results. A lot of these apps have been popping up all over the place on the Apple App Store and also on the Google Play Store. Uh, some people have their own personal opinions on which one is their favorite, but in my opinion, this is my favorite just because it has the cleanest interface, it's the easiest to use, and that ND filter calculator can also be really helpful if you're using something like a Mavic Pro that doesn't have the adjustable shutter. So we'll get right into things here and do a quick walkthrough of the application on my iPhone. And the first thing we'll notice when we open up the Polar Pro application is that it has not yet been optimized for the iPhone 10. So it kind of looks like an older iPhone, like I still have that forehead and chin bezel, the big top and bottom bezels, which really isn't all that big of a deal, but I would like to see them optimize this so I get a full screen look on the new iPhone 10. That's just something to note if you guys do have um, one of these newer iPhones. So the first thing we need to do is add our location. We'll tap add in the center, and for me, I'm going to use my my current location so I'll check that off on the right side and it's going to take a couple of minutes to actually go ahead and find your current location which is a little bit annoying uh, but if you guys want to you can also add other locations so for example if I plan to fly in Philadelphia and I don't want to use my current location and I want to check the weather conditions and the wind conditions I'll go ahead type in Philadelphia Pennsylvania so I'm going to wait for a second uh, for this to actually come up and find my current location and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, so finally it came up as Lenape for my current location. That's an area around my house, so I'll just go with it. And once we back out, we notice that these little squares begin to load. So at the top, we have our filter guide. In the middle, we have some pre-flight conditions and weather stuff like that. At the bottom, it's gonna bring us to the Polar Pro website. But the first thing we want to do is add our devices and the drones that we're using. So we'll click on the three lines in the top left corner. This brings us to our menu. First, we'll click on devices. I'll select the drones that I own. So the Mavic, the Spark, and the Phantom 4 Pro. And from here, if you have any of the other drones or any of the other cameras for the Inspire drones, you can go ahead and select those. So those are the ones I'm using, Mavic Pro, Spark, Phantom 4 Pro, I'll click done. And then next we want to go down to filters and choose the filters that we own for these drones. So for me, I actually own all of the filters for all of the drones, I'm kind of a filter freak. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and select I own all of them for all of the drones that I own. But what you guys can do is just go and select the specific filters that you own so that uh, when you do the filter calculator, it can recommend the correct filter for you. So I own, again, all the filters. I'll just select them all and click done. Now we'll get out of the menu and we'll head to this main screen. And I would go over the filter guide first, although I think that that's gonna be the specific feature a lot of people want to see. I'll go over that at the end and go over it in a little bit more depth. Uh, so jumping down to these four boxes, they show us, again, some pretty vital pre-flight information. First of all, the top left box is the golden hour. This is like the best time to film. It's usually the hour, the hour after the sunrise and the hour before the sunset. That's when the lighting is like the best. So this will show you not only the time of the golden hour, but also when it begins and when it ends. Next box uh, to that, like the next one to the right, is gonna show us some weather information, the visibility, wind, temperature, whether it's clear, sunny, cloudy, I mean, really anything. Um, and it's also gonna show us this by the hour and also the five day forecast. So this is perfect to know what the weather is like outside and also what the shooting conditions will be like, whether it's gonna be cloudy or sunny outside. Heading back, in the bottom left corner is our KP index, and I'm still not all that familiar with what the KP index exactly is. You can click on the little I in the top right corner, and it's gonna show us kind of exactly what it is. It's kind of like a definition of it. Um, and this is all having to do with the geomagnetic storms, and it has to do with the interference between your drone and also the remote controller. So this is gonna be something to look at. Uh, if it says high risk, I probably wouldn't recommend flying just because you're probably gonna experience a lot of disconnection errors between your drone and the remote. So be on the lookout for this as you guys are flying. Finally, bottom right corner, this in my opinion is the most useful, it is the wind conditions. Uh, so right now it's gonna tell us exactly what the wind speeds are like outside and which direction it's blowing in. And not only does it show the current wind conditions, but also over the next hour and over the next five days. So again, this is perfect for you guys out there looking to see what the wind is like before you go out and fly. It's also gonna show us visibility, which is definitely something that's important. It's kind of gonna measure um, you know, how far you can see. And right now it's 10 miles, that's perfect. I mean, the drone can't even go further than four and a half miles, 4.3 miles. Um, but again, visibility will be key, so you guys can definitely know how far you can fly your drone. 
All right, so finally, we'll be going over the filter guide. And for those of you who may be unfamiliar with what exactly ND filters do, it essentially allows you to lower the shutter speed to allow your drone shots to look more cinematic. We always wanna make sure our shutter speed is double our frame rate. So for shooting at 30 FPS, we want the shutter speed to be 1 60th of a second. I'll put a full link, or I'll put a, I'll, I'll put a link to a full video I did, a full tutorial on ND filters and all filters in general down in the description if you guys wanna check that out. But for now, we're gonna be going through the filter guide. So this basically allows us to input the current camera settings when you turn on your drone. So let's say you turn on your drone, we're using the Mavic Pro, uh, we can go ahead and set our frame rate to 30 FPS, and let's say that right now it's super sunny out and our shutter speed is 1 800th. That's gonna give us a good exposure value. At the top, it's gonna give us the exact filter that we should be using. So right now it says we should be using an ND16 slash polarizer. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead, slap that filter on the front, and once I fly up, it's gonna be the exact filter that I need and this is super helpful because as you guys know uh, changing filters out is going to be a little bit annoying because let's say you think you need an ND8 you put it on you get it up in the air and you're flying around and you're like oh, this is way too low then you're gonna need to land it turn it off throw another filter on send it back up and all of this can be pretty much calculated with this application super helpful I know that even in my or even in my experience when not using the Phantom 4 Pro and when using something like a Mavic using filters is so key and using the right filter can be hard to come by now one thing I do want to mention that I should have mentioned in the beginning is that with this filter guide, you can also swipe between the drones you have. So right now, I can swipe to the right to get to the Spark and then swipe to the right again for the Phantom 4 Pro. But guys, that wraps up this quick look at the Polo Pro pre-flight application. I started first using this when it first came out. I was gonna make a video on it a couple of months ago, uh, but I kind of held off. And since then, this application really has improved. So I'd recommend going out and trying it. It's a free application, and it's definitely gonna be useful for those of you who not only want to know the pre-flight conditions, like KP index, wind, uh, the wind speed, the visibility, et cetera, et cetera, but it's also going to allow us to calculate which ND filter to use, which is a question I get all the time. Like People are always asking, what ND filter should I use for this shooting condition? This application will be able to tell you. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.